Honey, I think there might be a problem with the utility bill. A high efficiency Linux system from Glenn Heating and Air can really save you money. It can't be that low, can it? You could save up to 60%. Do you think we should say anything? No. Good idea. Start saving energy today. Be sure and call my friends at Glenn Heating and Air. Linux. Innovation never felt so good. Hi, we're here with Sarah Delaney. Now, Sarah, you've been very busy with some television product, uh, productions. Tell us some about some of them. Um, tell us about some of them. I'm currently promoting a film called Knuckle Draggers. It's a great little indie film. Um, kind of, or it's a romantic comedy, but kind of set from the guy's perspective. So guys can enjoy it, girls can enjoy it. It's really cute. Rob All right, so I'm going to want to go see it then. You are going to want to go see it. I won't cry. You might. It depends on how sensitive you are. It, it'll make people laugh, and it'll it might you might shed a tear. Well, I'm the kind that you know. I look at a commercial and I go, "Oh my God, that was so touching." So oh my God, you're gonna fall. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, you know, you've been acting since you were very little, and you know, you seem to be very well adjusted. How did how did you do that? Oh wow, I have no idea. This town will eat you up and spit you out, but um. People, you know what, if I may, people hear that a lot, especially our teens, they say, well, Hollywood, I want to go there, I want to go there, but what are the pitfalls that they need to watch out for? The pitfalls you need to watch out for, honestly, as much as I hate to say it, kind of the party scene. And, and it's like a rite of passage almost, you know, you kind of go through it, and if you can come out on the other side, awesome, and some people do and some people don't, you know. There's a lot of different things that are... Uh, given to our teens, even at the young age, whether it be alcohol, drugs, whatnot, right? Well, I think despite whether it's alcohol or drugs, I think we're giving our kids a lot of, like, information nowadays, but then actually not giving them any responsibility or, you know, they, we're not really teaching them how to be accountable for your actions. And it's like, hey, go experience life. Go do what you want to do, you know, but be accountable and be responsible. And Take care of yourself. <laughs> You're very well adjusted, I can tell. Now, uh, again, when it comes to acting and, and when you go for auditions, um, what's been your secret to, to getting in the roles that you've been that you've been achieving? What's my secret to getting in the roles? Um, Smiling a lot. I have more talent than that. <laughs> Um, no, honestly, it's it's a little bit of um, kind of taking stuff from your own personal experiences. Ho you know, hopefully either you've been through something, whatever character you're dealing with, or if not, then you kind of bring in um, putting yourself in actually being empathetic to what the character would be going through and really putting yourself in that moment and doing it. And then all of the, he was speeding. I know. See, it was not taking responsibility. There was a motorcycle that just ran over at least three people. But I can't say I wouldn't love to be on the back of it speeding. But oh, okay. <laughs> we know. All right, get a or bike. Or riding it. Hey. Um, goodness, I lost my train of thought. I what did too. Do you like cartoons or not? I love cartoons. <laughs> I love cartoon movies. Yes. Like what? Name one. Uh, Cars is amazing. Cars. Did you see Up? Did I see Up? No, I haven't seen Up yet. They're coming out with the sequel down. <laughs> you just made that up right No, now. that was good, huh? No. That was good. Well, hey, when you, I fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you, you know, when you actually uh, go home and you want to relax, do you pick up a book to read or do you actually turn on the television? Uh, currently, the television is not being turned on. I haven't got the uh, wonderful little box to oh. adjust your home television. You're in the programs, but you can't watch yourself. That's interesting. Well, I guess there's the internet now, and there's always YouTube and all that fun stuff. And my friends have TiVo, you know, or whatever. Um, gee, yeah, I might pick up a book. No. <laughs> um, I don't know. Anything. Color. Pick up a book. Coloring's fun. I know. You color? I color. Color. Barbie coloring book. Really? Oh, I, I wouldn't have thought I that. Don't think I wouldn't you're have thought. Too old to stop coloring. It's creative. It's an outlet. I it was, but you know that's what they call as an artist. Not. I that's draw. What they call. So okay, you. Co I'll draw. I you color. color. Exactly. Okay. And I'll color within the line. We just collaborated <laughs> right here. Look at that. We're already we're already coming up with the sequel down. Okay. Thank you so very much for taking a moment with us. Thank you.
¿Están sus hijos teniendo problemas en la escuela porque no les gusta leer? ¿Le dicen que todo les aburre? Este otoño vea cómo sus calificaciones mejoran con una suscripción a la revista Latín. Una revista nueva para jóvenes latinos que les encantará leer. Compre una suscripción ahora. Llame al 1-800-816-1260. Con tan solo 3 dólares asegura el futuro de sus hijos. Llame al 1-800-816-1260. Es el 1-800-816-1260. Sus hijos les darán las gracias. 